Later on. Well, let's get more from France 24's Benedict Pavio, who is uh, standing by for us outside the Houses of Parliament. Um, Benedict, from 11 candidates uh, to eight now, uh, where are we in the race to replace Boris Johnson? Well, who will indeed succeed Boris Johnson as leader of the Conservative Party uh, and <clears throat> therefore as Prime Minister, since the Conservatives have the largest party uh, by far in Parliament? That is uh, the million pound question. And as you say, uh, now eight candidates with two hot favourites, the former Chancellor, the 42-year-old Rishi Sunak, and uh, Penny Mordaunt, a, a trade minister, 49 years old, um, and who is rising fast in, in these stakes and who launched her campaign this morning. Uh, so very much the themes uh, seem to be dominated by the cost of living, unsurprisingly, and inflation at 9.1 per cent set to go to 11 uh, percent. But let's be clear on who is voting. So there will be a first ballot for two hours today and at five o'clock London time, the result of that first ballot, so who goes through amongst those eight candidates, will be announced and that will be by the chair, Sir Graham Brady, of the influential uh, Tory backbench committee, the 1922 uh, committee. And who is voting in this first phase? Well, the 358 Conservative MPs, members of parliament, the lawmakers, uh, there will be other ballots and the goal is to whittle down the eight candidates down to two. By when? By the 21st of July. Why the 21st of July? Because that is when Parliament will no longer be sitting. It will be in recess and MPs will go back to their constituencies and some also will have holidays. The two people who won't be on holiday will be the two candidates who will have come out of this uh, Tory process and that first phase. And the second phase will very clearly be uh, votes among the conservative membership. Now, depending on who you believe, and we have yet to nail that figure down, uh, those Conservative members are about 160,000 or all the way up to 200,000. So will there be hustings across the United Kingdom uh, and we will know by the 5th of September who the next Prime Minister, who the next Tory leader is. Yeah, absolutely. Very noisy there in central London today, Benedict, by the sounds of things. Um, so we'll, we'll know uh, yes. fairly shortly, therefore, uh, who is going to be replacing... Uh, the British Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, it seems. Yes, um, and it's an absolutely fascinating race. And what is actually extraordinary are the allegiances that are uh, and loyalties that keep on changing. What you've got is an incredible amount of horse trading going on, some public, a lot of it not, here in the heart of Westminster. So if you see, and it seems like a car park of police vans, don't be surprised, because just to my right is actually Parliament Square, and there are all kinds of people, whether they're members of Parliament, of course, amongst them Conservatives, uh, going into Parliament. But you've got members of the public, you've got the media, the UK, the international media. So Westminster is absolutely buzzing uh, with public and unofficial meetings. But as I said, that first ballot, that result of that first ballot this afternoon, who will go through, uh, who won't, and down to two next week, uh, so a very fascinating debate and we will see if it's Rishi Sunak and possibly anybody but Rishi Sunak. That is what the bookmakers are saying right now in that final two. OK, thank you very much indeed for that update from uh, Central London. Benedict Pavio, thank you.